What's going on YouTube? Gene here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back. You guys already know the deal. Bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're using a top tier Lugia team that also features Groudon and the Venusaur Sun Drought combo. You guys know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. But your boy's actually super excited because I leave for the shore. Tonight, <laughs> tonight. So I'm actually uh, pre-recording some videos so you guys, or so I don't miss out on any uploads. But you guys know the deal. I like to daily upload every single day. So yeah, I'm gonna, um, I'm pre-recording right now. It's gonna be fun. I got, got my bags packed, ready to go. Only going for a day, but it's definitely a lot of fun because I go out with my family, all that good stuff. I, mean, I just have a good time. I just have a good time. But something I want to mention before we actually get into today's team preview, like I've been mentioning in previous videos, is me and Short Circuit Gaming SCG are pairing up to bring you guys a twenty dollars eShop gift card giveaway. So uh, there's a, I think there's going to be like six days left by the time of this recording, but definitely get on top of that. There's multiple different ways to enter. The link is down in the description below. Head over to the Twitter page. Check all that stuff out. If you hit the link, you know, the rules will be there. There's definitely multiple ways to enter. And uh, the more chances you enter, the more chances you have to win. So definitely get on top of that if you guys are interested in a free $20 eShop gift card. Like, super simple to join too. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in the top left corner with the one and only Venusaur. Great, probably one of the best uh, drought Pokemon in the game with Chlorophyll to double its speed. Cobra Berry as an item, and then we're rocking Sleep Powder, Leaf Storm, Helping Hand, and Earth Power. Next one is going to be that Groudon to set the drought. It also has the leftovers, so you know, give it HP at the end of every single turn. Then we're rocking Rock Slide, bulk up to boost its attack and defense stat, and then Surprise Blades and protect for its final move. Middle left is going to be support from Snarl with Prankster and the Iron Ball. It's only rocking the Iron Ball because it has Trick as one of its uh, moves. So it can actually give the Iron Ball to a different Pokemon and take its item. We also have Sucker Punch for first turn priority, Thunder Wave for speed control and paralyzes, and Spirit Break for its final stab hitting move. Right next to him is going to be Incineroar. That's all I'm saying. Shuka Berry, Incineroar, everything else is straightforward and normal for an Incineroar. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Transistor Regilecki with the Focus Ash and then normal move set of Thunderbolt Bolt Switch. And then our final Pokemon is going to be the heart and soul of this team. It's going to be Weakness Policy Lugia with that multi-scale ability, which I absolutely love. Just makes him super bulky and allows him to just dominate the battle. We have Aeroblast, Blizzard, Earth Power, and Protect for its moveset. And I cannot wait to use it. You know, Dynamax it, roll out strong, and grab some wins for you guys. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, remember the code is chilling at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this Weakness Policy Lugia and Groudon Drought team. I'm feeling good right now. I'm ready to rock. Let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. Going up against a Dialga and Kai Ogre team that also features Whimsicott. It's got Ferrothorn, Intimidate Lando, and then Blastoise over here. How should I lead this one? How should I go with it? I'm thinking Lugia is going to be a solid lead. Maybe proc policy? Maybe. Let's go Grimmy and let's go Lucario. Try to roll out with that. I really do dig it. Special attacker won't be really affected by the uh, by the Intimidate. So I really am digging it. I definitely am digging it. And we can uh, change weather control because we do have Blizzard. Because, uh, you know, if we're going to lead these two, we're probably going to Dynamax and Lugia and roll out from there. Next Pokemon I want to bring is definitely going to be Groudon. Just take weather control later in the match. And then Venusaur, right? You can't have Groudon without Venusaur. It's just an absolute must. He doesn't have too many physical attackers either. So I really do like having Venusaur in this slot. So yeah. Groudon Venusaur combo alongside Grimstar and Lugia. Let's run it up. But yo, before battle number one even starts, you guys know the question of the day. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys could be a gym leader, what typing would your gym be? For me personally, I would, I, I've always been a big fan of water type. Simple, but they have some cool Pokemon with it. So I, I, bet, I, I think I would go water. Water or grass? I'm like, dude, I'm just a simple person. I think they have some cool typings or cool Pokemon with those typings. So I think either or. I do like steel as well. I think steel is cool, but water and grass definitely have some of my favorite Pokemon on there. He's gonna rock out with Blastoids alongside with Whimsy. And I'm totally cool with this. Like I said, I could drop I could drop a Sucker Punch and take out Whimsicott at the same time. Actually, mm, yeah, let's go suck, let's go Sucker Punch. Let's proc policy here. And let's just take some speed. Let's take some speed here. Let's take speed. If he wants a shell smash, that's totally fine. We could paralyze it next turn. I'm just digging this. Or we could trick it. We could Iron Ball. Good like, okay, yo, here's Iron Ball. Or I, could, I probably should have tricked it this turn, because if it is if it is gonna shell smash. It would probably just go into like a, uh, a, what's it called? If it was going to shell smash, I don't think it would, uh, he would lead it with Whimsicott. I don't think it's a shell, shell smash blast switch. Let's see what happens here. He's going to go for a fake out. So he's just faking me out. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. We're not going to proc policy just yet. That's totally fine. Tailwind's going to poke here. And I'm going to take some speed and I might drop ice next turn. Let's just chip up here. I really wanted my policy proc here, but still, Airstream should bring this thing down pretty low, probably to Focus Ash, right? Yeah, so it brings down the Focus Ash. I think I set the Hail here. Hail could be nice. Hail definitely could be nice. 
I don't know if I should pop policy or if I should. What should I do here? What should I do? Should I thunder wave? I think I'm gonna pop policy. Oh, we're Dynamax? I feel like it's an absolute must. Yeah, I'm gonna sucker punch into me and I'm gonna drop hail. The reason I wanna drop hail is just to take out the Wimscott with the Buffets. But I do dig it. I do dig this turn. I do dig it. Hopefully, Wimscott's not rock and taunt. Because next turn, I would love to. Oh, he's just gonna withdraw one guy. Okay. I was gonna say, because next turn, I would love to. Uh, oh, this works out perfectly. <laughs> I was gonna say, because next turn, I could just. Uh, Thunder Wave and all that good stuff. But this is gonna work out perfectly. He's gonna bring out Kai Ogre, who's gonna set the rain. And I'm changing the weather right right, right now. I'm changing the weather. He's gonna Dynamax Blastoids. And Blastoids, being Dynamax, cannot change weather. If it's a G Max one, because all of his water moves turn into Canyon. -y. It's gorgeous. It's G Max, right? It's gotta be G Max. Let's get it. Alright, I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that because Lugia is going to go first. It's going to change up the weather. Solid turn. Solid turn. And then I'm just going to, you know, start pestering with Thunder Waves. Definitely my play. All day. Sucker Punch going to roll out here. Yay. Multi scale is going to help us soak it up beautifully. I'm going to pop the policy. We're not going to do too much of the Blast Waves, but still, yo, that's a huge weather change. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. We can bring in the Hailstorm. And I also have Groudon in the back end to switch up weather if I really have to. But this is solid. This is solid. Like I said, not too much damage, but the weather change is just a huge, huge effect on its own. Huge effect on the zone. And then from here, what do we roll into? He's gonna go into a canyon. It's totally fine. Probably into who are you going into? I would have to think Grimstraw. Right? Oh, we soak. We soak! We soak that. We soak that. Okay, um. I'm thinking of just quaking Kyogre. Special defense boost and then paralyzing the blast woods. I do dig that. I do dig that. Or do I go into an airstream and take a bit more speed? I don't think we're really gonna need speed. I think the special defense boost would work way better for us. Because speed, we're going to control with this Grimstrong with the Thunder Waves. I just think that's my best. Yeah, so Thunder Wave, or I can, or, or I can trick. Still have this, but Thunder Wave is going to come in clutch. So I'm going to Thunder Wave up. And I'm just going to Quake. I'm just going to Quake over into this guy over. I know it's probably not going to kill it, even with the weakness policy proc, but the special defense is just, just too good. It's just way too good. But he's going to protect Kyogre. That's fine. That is fine. We will Thunder Wave this Blastoids up. And he's, oh, he's going to double down on the guard. Okay. He doubles down on the guard. Fine with that. I am chilling with that. I'll take, a, I'll take a free special defense boost. I think he just wanted the canyon damage to chip up. I'm surprised he he, he max guard to blast those. I really am surprised with that. Because that's just a waste of a dynamax turn. That's just a waste of a dynamax turn. So we still have the Venusaur and what's called combo in the back end. We still have the Venusaur and Groudon combo in the back end. And I think he does swap Kyogre here. I really do. But I think we should be fine. We should be fine with, with, with paralyzing this. Uh, we gotta paralyze Blastoids. Blastoids has got to be paralyzed. Yo, this GMAX Canyon is chipping, though. That is ugly. It's ugly. It is chipping. It is chipping. I am gonna go for an Aero Blast now. We have a nice little lovely boost on defense. But yeah, this is kind of a pain. We could take his item. We could take a uh, Blastoids item away. I'm just gonna go for an Aero Blast. Try to deal some damage on the Kyogre. He might swap it. I would think he's swapping it. And then get off a of paralyzed on Blastoid. So great little protect. He's actually keeping himself in this battle really well. But I feel like this turn's gonna be big for us. With picking up some chaos. So Thunder Wave's gonna come out here. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is that? What is that? Water spout comes out here. Lugia should be able to eat. And Grim Strong eats. What is that? What is that? We miss our Thunder Wave trick would have been to play, man. We miss our Thunder Wave. We miss our Thunder Wave. That just that is disgusting, dude. That is disgusting. That is just like the ugliest thing I've ever seen. So now Lugia goes down. Grimstone is going to go down here as well. We missed the Thunder Wave, dude. Come on, man. The disrespect. The disrespect. The disrespect. But his Dynamax turns are over. We get to bring out our Weather Squad. He's going to swap ground on here. Um, Still tough for us. Still definitely tough. I think I bulk up at this point, right? I think I bulk up. Their Tailwind's gone. I think I bulk up. I think I bulk up with the ground on. Getting a bit more beefy in me. What do we do from here? Do from here. Do I just drop the blade? Do I drop the blades or do I bulk up? He ha he's gonna swap the ground. It's like 100% play all day. He's going to swap the ground on. He's going to swap the ground on. He might protect the blasters. I think I just bulk up this turn. I mean, he's gonna swap that Kyogre all day. He'll put Blastoids to sleep too. That would be solid. I'm not gonna leave some just yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you to sleep. I'm gonna bulk up. I'm gonna bulk up, baby. You gotta swap the ogre. You gotta swap the ogre. 
He just protects it. That's solid. That works. I'm with it. There you go. Protecting. Sleep powder coming in hot. And thank God we land that. So now I'm going to go after that, that ogre this turn with Venusaur. Venusaur outspeeds. I'm going to get off a nice lovely bulk up here. Bulk up coming in hot. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Get that bulk up rolling. We're definitely still in this battle. We have Venusaur who is the fastest. I'm surprised he hasn't swapped that guy over. And if he doesn't, that's huge for us. Okay, and he needs chipping, which is so annoying. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Okay. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. I see you. Leftover's going to come out here. Definitely help us out a lot. Now that we are a bit bulky. So hopefully he has physical attackers in the back. What other Pokemon does he have? He has Whimsicott. We're hoping it's like Lando. Lando would be nice, but it's probably Dialga, right? Probably Dialga. But from here, I'm just going to Earth Power this slot. I'm just going to drop a Blades Cross. What's up, buddy? He has to swap Kyogre, right? He doesn't swap Kyogre. That's huge for us. He doesn't swap Kyogre. That is enormous because now we have Drought for the rest of the battle. I'm so surprised. I think I think our opponent would have had this battle in the bag if he swapped. Could have bulked up again. That would have been nice. But Blade's going to come through here. Big time double kill. Big time double kill. And now he's going to have to bring out... I think if it's the Alga, I'm cool with it. I got Blades ready to roll. I have Blades ready to roll. He might Tailwind just to get some speed on it, but... My Venus was chilling, yo. We got the weather for the rest of the battle. We love it. We love it. But yeah, if he swapped Kyogre, I think he had the battle. He's going to go into Wimscott, who's on one HP. Uno HP. And then Dialgo. Yeah, dude, let's double down with this. Baby. Blades into a uh, Earth Power? Where do I sleep powder it? Where do I sleep powder it? He just double down, right? Or I can help a hand. I'm doubling down. I'm doubling down. Radon does not need helping. Uh... Does not need helping hand right now because he's plus one on attack. That is huge. That is huge. That is huge. I'm so upset that we missed our paralyze earlier, but it kind of worked out in our favor because if that blast switch was paralyzed, we were not able to. And the sleep definitely clutched up, made it lose a turn. Guaranteed to lose a turn. Probably would have lost a turn or two to paralyze, but still. I dig it. I dig it. Let's see what this guy does. Let's see what he does because we know Venusaur's fastest. Maybe I should have taken out the one spot, but. I just don't think Wimscott's going to be doing too much. Yeah, it sets up a Tailwind, and then what's the Alga going to do? What's the Alga going to do? Venusaur still might outspeed it, which it does. So we're going to get off some nice damage. As long as it's not policy, right? As long as it's not policy. Don't be policy. Cool. He goes for a Flash Cannon, which both my Pokemon should be able to bulk through. Radon says, yo, that's a tasty snack. He's going to land his Blades. He's going to say GG's, right? Don't miss a Blade. Blades come through. It doesn't miss. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. GG's. Radon and Venus are clutching up that battle, and then Lugia starting us off strong with that good old Dynamax. Like I said, your boy is feeling good. We start off 1-0. We're looking to go back-to-back -back here up against a Groudon and Zacian team. And it's kind of weird. He has two Drought Pokemon. And then no, like, Chlorophyll Pokemon. No Charizard. No Venusaur. It's okay. I guess his Torkoal is there for Trick Room and Trick Room only. He might actually go into Trick Room. Which I wouldn't mind. I feel like the Lugia is going to get start off strong here. Do we lead the Lugia again? We lead the Lugia and Grimstone. We'll roll out strong with that. I wouldn't mind it. And you know what? I'm not even going to... I don't even think I'm going to bring Groudon. I think we want to bring Incineroar. Actually, no, dude. Groudon's too good. Groudon does a lot of work. He does so much work. Uh, yeah. I think we might go same squad. I think Lugia is just, like, a great lead for this. Lugia, Grimstone, we can walk in there. We can Trick if we want to. We can Paralyze if he wants to pop Trick Room. That's fine by me. And then Groudon, Venusaur. I'm liking the same squad. I definitely am liking the same squad. But I really don't want to bring an Intimidate for that Defiant Thunderous. Would be a pain. Boom, I'm not really too worried about. But I I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Because Regilecki's not going to do too much. He has the Groudon. He has the Zacian. He can just absolutely dump on it. And Cinnamore would be decent, considering it would be super effective. Actually, ooh, I kind of want him. But the Defiant kind of throws me off. That's a problem. You know, I'm liking it. I'm liking this. You guys seen plenty of Incineroar and Regilecki. They're pretty much on any single team. So we're going to rock out with the same squad. But yeah, Incineroar would have been solid. But I just felt like we get more value out of it. That's it. That's just my thought process. Because Incineroar would have intimidated the Groudon, who's a physical attacker, the Zacian, who's a physical attacker, the, uh, the Rillaboom, who's a physical attacker. This would have been nice. Would have been nice. But let's see who he leads. He's going to lead P2 and Groudon. The P2 and Groudon's going to get the lead here. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. What do we do from here? We could... Uh, do we have Fake Out? Are we rocking Fake Out with this Grimstrong? I don't think we are. Let's sucker Punch, Thunder Wave, Spirit Break, and Protect, maybe? And Trick, and Trick, and Trick. Could take off the Evo Light. We could indeed take off the Evo Light. Turn one. Could take off the Evo Light, which wouldn't be bad. I think I'm going to change up weather and allow him to pop trick him. Hmm. 
pop policy. Could definitely pop policy. I think popping policy could be solid for us. Yeah, I'm gonna pop policy here. He protects, he protects, it's fine. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. I'm gonna pop the policy. I'll trick and thunder thunder wave next turn. I'll do all that good stuff. I think I think uh depending on how much damage we get off on this Groudon, we might trick it, but I kinda wanna get rid of the Evo Light on the P2. Because Evo Light on Poor Egon 2 is just it, it just makes him so much better. And if we can get rid of that, that can kinda just take him out of the game pretty much. Let's see what he goes into. We're just gonna rocket through a sucker punch. I think we might have a high chance of taking out Groudon here. I think we will. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. P2's kind of scaring me a little bit because I think he's going to pop a trick room. I don't know. We do outspeed, which is gorgeous. So we're going to get this weather change. And I think we pick up the KO here, right? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Make it happen. Beautiful start. Mwah. Beautiful start. We get rid of the ground on. I love it, yo. Lugia is a beast, dude. Lugia is just such, such a good Pokemon. Uh, if, if, if you can pop the policy. Because if you have a Lugia that relies on somebody else popping the policy, or at least what I do is I just think not going to touch it until it's Dynamax is over or until it's uh, doing its thing. Because Lugia, without the policy, is really, it really doesn't hit that. So he ends up popping the Trick Room, which I'm cool with. I feel like... Uh, dude, let's see what Pokemon he goes into. Because I really want to trick the Porygon, but I feel like the next Pokemon he brings in is going to be the next Mon, which might be Torkoal. Might indeed be Torkoal. Torkoal's kind of scary. Is it Torkoal? No, it's going to be it's gonna be Zass. He popped the Trick Room with Zass. All right, yeah, yo. We're going to uh, we're gonna trick the PZ. And uh, actually, I can keep that one. But I'm going to trick the PZ and go into uh, a quake here. Zassing coming in hot. I'll take the special defense boost all day. So we'll do this. And we'll trick. We'll be like, yo, give me that Evo light. And we'll roll out from there. Because P2's got to be Dynamax in here, right? In the trick room? That's weird. He would pop a trick room and then roll into Zassian. Okay, he's not Dynamaxing. Trick coming in hot. I'll take your Evo light. Thank you very much. You can have my Iron Ball. He's going to go for... Ooh. Dirty, dirty, dirty. That glass duck just did me dirty. This little play by him. Uh, okay, so Lugia's gonna really be down the dumps. He's actually even now, which isn't too bad. And he's gonna do half damage. So special defense boost is coming in hot. He's probably gonna take out my Grimstar, which I... Hopefully he goes after Lugia, because I would love to paralyze that, uh... That's assy, and that could be huge for us. But he's gonna go for a blade into Lugia. That's fine. My boy should be able to soak this up. Good work, Lugia. Soak it up. Love you, Lugia. I love you, Lugia. Big time eat there. PC is gonna go first now. So PC is gonna go first. Do I even paralyze? Do I even paralyze? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna paralyze him. Even though he's in the trick room, I think we still paralyze him. I think we just quake again, and then we go into a thunder wave here. I could paralyze the P. P two. See who do I have in the back end? If the trick room comes out here, we can just roll in the ground. I think I'm just gonna paralyze the. I think I'm gonna leave this Pokemon here. I don't think I'm gonna paralyze him. I really don't think I'm gonna paralyze him because he's in Trick Room. I'm gonna paralyze the P2. I'm gonna paralyze the P2 here. I play all day. I'm gonna leave Zassian full speed. I'll leave him full speed right now. It's fine by me. The P2 is gonna go next. He's gonna Ice Beam. He's gonna drop me. That's fine. And then he's gonna Behemoth Blade across. I'm cool with this because again, Trick Room is out and about. I know that my uh. My Groudon's going to be slower than uh, Zassian. I can just blaze and rip up through him. And this guy does not have Evil Light. But he still has Dynamax, which is a little weird. A little scary. A little scary. Definitely a little scary. So what I could do here is... Uh, I think I'm just going to Helping Hand this time. I'm going to go from there. I do like where we're sitting. I do, I do like where we're sitting. So Buffett's going to chip up onto his Pokemon. We're going to change up weather. We're going to get rolling from here. So, yo. Out on the Venus are coming in that back end yet again. Kind of kind of just like last battle. They came in at the same time. And Lugia and uh, Grimstar got, got the battle started. Yeah, it seems like it's going to work fine. Because, again, I don't, he's probably not going to Dynamax PZ. Or P2. Now that it's paralyzed and it doesn't have its Evo Light. It's just huge. We got to see how many turns are left in Trick Room. Trick Room, how many turns do you have? Left? Two. So this, that, that works. Because if, if Zassian protects his turn, it's fine. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to help a hand, and I'm just going to drop a Bleach. P2 is going to be slowest, but P2 has a chance of being paralyzed. Let's see what it does. I think he protects his Zassian this turn, but it's totally fine. It is totally fine if he wants to protect this turn, because, again, we have one more turn left in Trick Room. So it's not like we have one more turn left in Trick Room right now where he can protect and then gain speed. We're sitting in a solid spot. Solid spot. My only problem is he saw us Dynamax, and he's going to Dynamax that last Pokemon, which is... Who could it be? Who could it be? It could be Torkoal. 
I was thinking it was Torkoal because he popped the trick room, but I'm not too sure. He's not even going to protect, which is gorgeous. So Helping Hand's going to come out here. And we're going to pick up probably a double kill here. Oh, PZ Paralyzed. We love that. Blades, I need you to land here. Blades connects. That's beautiful. Double kill, right? Big time double kill? No, we take out Zassian, but not the P2. He was still bulking up through that e without that Evo Light. A nice, a nice little pokies there. Okay, so this is going to be his final Pokemon. I think I just sleep out of it, right? It's going to be Torkoal. Okay, uh... Our problem here is we don't have Protect. I think we drop a Blades regardless, right? It's going to be tough. We got to drop the Blades. I think I just Helping Hand. I have to Helping Hand. Because the thing is, Torkoal's going to outspeed through the Trick Room. And we don't have Protect, so I might as well get off a Helping Hand here. Oh, this is scary. Let's go. Oh, this is scary, dude. I think it comes down to like if this PC's paralyzed or not. PC's going to recover. I'm fine with that. I just need to get rid of this Torkoal. And if this Blades can land on that, we can get rid of Torkoal, no problem. He's going to go for Eruption. That's exactly what he, I knew he was going to do. And that's going to take out Venusaur, no problem. And dude, if PC went for a... Uh, oh, this is going to be close. So close. Trick Room does N2. Blades comes out here. Who dodged it? P2. Okay, P2 dodged it. That's fine. That's fine. P2 dodged it. That's a little tough. Actually, we needed to connect that. I feel like we needed to connect that. Don't tell me I'm going to lose because I missed the Blades. We do have leftovers, which... Gorgeous, which is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So I could protect. Trick Room's gone, and I feel like I have to attack this turn because he might pop a Trick Room. I could bulk up. I could go for a Rock Slide, try to flinch him. What do I want to go here? I say we go for the flinch, dude. I say we go for the flinch. Does that mean have flinch and paralyzed chance? Oh my God, he's died in action. <laughs> I forgot about it, dude. I was saying it all day about that action. We're gonna need some paralyzed here. Wow. We're gonna lose to a Miss Blade. Actually, I don't know. Are we gonna lose to a Miss Blade? Now I Dynamax, he's really a bit more bulkier here. Tough. Hopefully he's paralyzed this turn. That could be huge for us. Rockside's gonna come in hot. Not do like any damage. Paralyzed? Nope. Hailstorm comes through. GG, yo. Glass duck. Coming back to bite us. Even when we took his Evo Lad, like, I didn't think it was gonna be this powerful, but yo, P2 is where it's at. Such a good Pokemon. Good Dynamax. Great support mon. Solid battle all around, but our opponent takes the second battle. We're going to hop into our third. Look for that winning record. That god dang glass duck. That P2 did us so dirty there in battle number two. But uh, I kind of feel like we lost that battle due to Venusaur not rocking protect. Most Venusaurs have protect. And if we did have protect, I could protect that last eruption. Waste out that uh, trick room turn. And then roll off from there. But we're hopping into our third and final battle. Swift Swim Kingdra team with Kyogre and Solgaleo. And Zap. Zip Zap. Things a monster. Things an absolute beast. But how should I go into this one? How should I lead it? I feel like Incineroar isn't anything special. I feel like Vegelec is going to be great here alongside Venusaur as a lead. Because I can just swap in the ground on if he does lead Kyogre. But uh, do we lead Venusaur? I don't know. Could go Regilecki and... Uh, could go Reggie and Lugia. Could go Reggie Lugia. And then bring the uh, the Weather Squad in the back end. I kind of dig. kind of dig it. Yeah, let's run it. Let's run it up. Let's run it up. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. Three and it's gonna be a winning record if we do. I'm hoping, but yeah, I feel like we played great in that second battle. I just feel like kind of kind of came down to the point where it's just like, yo, that trick kind of this a little bit, but still, but still, so close. And I really think that that the uh, precipice blades on the on the P2 when we killed the uh, Torkoal, or not the Torkoal when we killed the uh, who did we kill? When we went for helping hand when we didn't kill, I think it was the Torkoal. We I thought we were gonna pick up a double kill with the P2. But he's gonna end up leading these two. That's totally fine. I'm just gonna hard swap other right. Hard swap, weather take, uh, who do I swap out? I think I just E-Web here, right? I could bolt switch. No, 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 because we're not faster right now. Are we faster? No, we're not. No shot. I'm just gonna, I'm just hard swapping, dude. That's a, that's a problem when you lead, uh, that is a problem when you lead your, uh, weather guy. Uh, especially up against another weather thing is that I could just hard swap. That's why I always like bringing him in the back. Leading him's tough. Leading him is tough. Definitely just had to bring it in the back. So I'm gonna hard swap my... Lugia, I'm going to bring out the Drought here. We're going to change up weather a little bit. And we are going to go into a lovely little e -web. Just take a little bit of speed control here. e -web coming in here. And, dude, come on, man. What you mean? Why is my e -web missing? Why is my e -web missing like that? He's going to go for an Origin Pulse. And Regilecki dodges it. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. He dodges the e -web. I dodge an Origin Pulse. Ground should be able to soak pretty well here. Beautiful. Beautiful. And now, what are you going for, Kingdra? Hydro Pump. What are you going into here? Going into Reggie here. Reggie, that's easy soak for you, buddy. Reggie's going to be able to soak. I do love it. And now I can just go into an E-Web and Blades here. Right? E-Web Blades. Picking up some kills. I do dig it. I do dig it. 
That's rough. That is rough news. He's probably going to hard swap the Ogre, in my opinion. But he web into Blades. We'll pick up the KO onto the Kingdra, unless he Dynamaxes it. But I think he does swap o Ogre, right? I think he does swap the Kyogre. But dude, why couldn't that first E-Web connect? Just want some chip-up damage and to slow it down as well. Could just work so well. Let's see what he does. Let's see this dude's play. It's so rough. I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game. <laughs> He's going to withdraw the Kingdra. Okay, and who are you going to roll into from here? Who are you going to roll into from here? I'm going to roll in the Zip Zap, which is actually a solid call. A real solid call. He's going to protect. That's a solid, solid play for him. Solid play. We are going to slow down the Zap this, which is solid from us as well. E Web's gonna fly through here. I'm gonna slow down that, and I think I'm uh, I think I'm gonna bolt switch into Ogre at this point. What do I slow it down? I don't know what I want to do. I kind of want to slow it down. You kind of want to slow it down. That thing is annoying, but my boy's getting some mean HP recovery. My Groudon. I might drop a Rock Slide here. Rock Slide into Bolt Switch. Could be good. Cause if I can get out my uh, if I get out my Venusaur in the Strout. I could Dynamax him easily. We'll see. Chelsea. Who's he going to go into? So he still has a Kingdra in the back end. Ah, dude. Dude, dude, dude. My one E-Web. My poor E-Web, man. Origin Pulse, I get missing. You know, it's a little bit lower on the accuracy board. But E-Web. I, I, you never expect E-Web to miss. Origin Pulse and Blade, you're like, okay. like We know it has a chance of missing. But this move, come on. Come on. Oh, now we're dropping rocks. I wish we were dropping blades, dude. I wish we were dropping blades. He's going to Dynamax. Okay. So he's maxing. We are going to Volt Switch out of here. I wonder what he's going to do. I don't know if I should bring in Venusaur. I think I might bring in Luigi and Dynamax Luigi after this. But who's he looking to pick up a KO on to? KO on to. Is it going to be my Groudon? I think he's looking to KO my Groudon. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Volt Switch coming hot. Uh Chipping up. So we got a lot of chip damage going out here. And now the real question is, do I bring out the loot? Do I bring out the Venus? I kind of want to bring out the loot. I feel like he might go for... If he, he might be going for an air move. But if I go into Venusaur, this could force a swap. If I go into Venusaur, I could force a swap. This might be my play. I'm going to go into Venusaur. I have the Koba Berry in case he wants to go for an airstream on me. But we shall see. We shall see his play. Rock Slide's gonna come in here. Who's dodging it? Okay, this thing has a barrier. Okay, never mind. I thought someone was dodging. I was gonna be upset. Rock Slide coming in hot, chipping up some damage. Thing is rocking the berry. The shardy berry. He's gonna go for lightning. Okay, so lightning's gonna come out here. He's gonna go, okay, in the Venus with lightning. That's fine. We eat, and I think we force him to swap, right? He's gonna swap back into that ogre. At this point, he has to swap back into that ogre, right? So I'm gonna swap my Groudon. I'm gonna go from there. Swap my ground and go from there. We're just gonna play mine. I am gonna go for this uh, sleep powder onto the bird. Actually, we cannot. Actually, is it only Pokemon on the ground? Hold up. Is it only Pokemon on the ground? Let's say it. Pokemon on the ground won't boss it. So, bird is not on the ground. I can sleep powder it up all. I'm gonna sleep powder you. And I'm going to hard swap into Lugia. Because, again, I really do think. Actually, do I go in here? We're going to Reggie. Reggie wouldn't be bad. But I feel like Lugia's not bad either. We're going to go Lugia. Ah, ch -ch -ch. Yeah, we have multi-skill and I'm going to Dynamax Lugia after this. I'm swapping my ground. I think he swaps his Solgaleo too, right? Swap that Solgaleo. If not, we get, we, we get off free sleep at her. Oh, What do you guys want me to do? I, I'm serious. What do you guys want me to do? What, what do you want me to do? I just don't know what to do. That plan was foolproof. It was either he swaps Kyogre, we get an outer ground on, or he doesn't like he did, and we get off a free sleep powder. But our sleep powder misses. So I'm going to ask you guys again. What do you want me to do? Because I have no idea what to do. <laughs> Oh my lord, I hate this game. I just don't like this game anymore. <laughs> this game is Garbo. It is Garbo. So bad. It is so bad. It is just awful. But we have to Dynamax my Lugia here. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. You know what? Gotta get rid of this bird. This bird's gotta go. 
This bird has got to go. He has got to go. Oh my lord, dude, this bird should be asleep. And uh, my Lugia should have no damage on him. Should still have multi scale. Could have been sitting pretty. So with that bird asleep, that is huge because we have some damage already off onto the Kyrie, right? We have a little bit. Yeah, we have. No, we might not. So I think we missed the E web and then he protected and then he swapped. But we have damage off on the Kingdra. We have damage off on the Sogelio. Bird should be slumped. <sighs> Dude. Like, I'm, I'm making good calls here. Like, that, that would have been a huge play for us. That would have been a huge play for us. So he's going to end up guarding. Mm hmm. E web's going to poke out here. And what's Sogelio going to go for? Can you pop my weakness policy? I would love you. I would love you forever. Solid damage. Solid damage. What's he going to go for? He's going for a flamethrower. He's going to take me out. So ugly. That's so ugly. Aim throw on the Sogelio. I love it. 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 Hailstorms can come out come out here. It's gonna get blocked. We blocking it all day. Sunlight fades. I'm gonna bring sunlight back out. That's gonna be tough. He has weather control for the rest of the battle. Unless I change it with uh my hailstorm. Unless I change it with my hailstorm. Let's get rolling here. Let's get rolling. Let's get rolling here. Dude, let's get rolling. Let's get rolling here. Okay, so what's our play calling here? I think a rock side should be able to take out Zapdos, right? Right? Rock side should be able to take out Zapdos. Yeah, I'm going to say rock side takes out Zapdos. And I'm just going to... Uh, I'm going to airstream right into this thing. Or do I grab special defense boost and bulk up a little bit? I kind of want to grab special defense boost instead of speed. What would be better? What would benefit us more? Speed wouldn't be bad. I think we want a bit more speed here. Just so we can outspeed the Kyogre. So I'm gonna need. He's gonna end up going for a flash cannon. My boy should be able to soak that up pretty finely, right? Yes. Gorgeous. We're gonna go next. We're gonna airstream. Should be able to bring it down to like red or even take it out. Of course he lands on one end. Watch. I, I, I can put my whole bank account on me missing this rock slide on him. Watch this. Watch us miss this rock slide. Watch this. Watch RNG do it so dirty. It doesn't. RNG doesn't do his dirty. We love it. Double kill. Huge time double kill. Big time double kill. So we took some speed. And now he has to bring out Kai Ogre. Our problem here is... My problem here is I need my Lugia to get off this shot. I need... I'm going to protect. I need to change up the weather. If I can do that, we could be sitting so well. I don't know if we can. We have to protect our, uh, our ground on here. We have to get off this weather. Scary, 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 scary. If I can change the weather, we have speed all day. It comes down to the wire. It comes down to the wire. All right, let's run it. Let's run it. Okay, uh, protect you. Who do I take out? I gotta take out you, right? I gotta get rid of this guy. Gotta get rid of this thing. Protect my, uh, or my, my Groudon. Protect my boy. And what's going on here? And we outspeed regardless. Wow, we outspeed the Swiss one? Beautiful. And Hailstorm dropping. We do not pick up the KO. But still, we change up the weather, which is enormous. Change up the weather is just huge for us. He's going to go for Dragon Pulse. And we block it. Oh, yes, sir. And then a Water Spout, right? Origin Pulse. Dodge it, Lugia. Dodge it, Lugia. Give me a dodge. Okay, we don't dodge it, but still, Lugia should be able to serve pretty well. Whew. We love it. We love it. We love it. Okay, um. So my play here should be Do I rely on Rock Slide Landing? Okay, uh, I'm trying to figure out what, what I should do here. What should I do here? I mean, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me take a second to think, because this, this turn comes down to the whole battle. So we should be faster. Let, let me see speed real quick. Who's faster, Groudon or Luga? I think Groudon should be faster than Luga. Let's see. No, not a shot. Um, but still, a plus one Groudon should be faster than Kyogre, which I'm thinking. So I'm thinking just going into a rock side because it has higher accuracy. Just to drop the Kingdra and then just arrow blasting straight up. Yes. That's my call. Run it, Lugia. Arrow blast coming through. Give me that crit too. It has a high crit chance. Give me the crit. Wow, that's some poopy damage. Rock side comes through and it connects. Beautiful. So rock side connects. We take out the Kingdra and we have a flinch chance onto this Kyogre. A lovely little flinch chance. Lovely little flinch chance. Give me the flinch. You do not get the flinch. Origin Pulse can connect. That probably takes out my ground, right? 
Lucas should be able to serve. Should be fine. No way we lose this battle. We just lost this battle due to Buffett. He's going to protect and we lose. My heart is hurting, dude. We're going to lose to a Buffett. Please don't protect. Please don't protect. Please don't protect. Please don't protect. If he's smart, he protects and Buffett's winning the game. Ah! Don't protect. Do not protect. If he doesn't protect and we get a credit, we win this. I'm going to lose it. <laughs> no way we lose. Don't lose to a Buffett. Look at him just staring me down. He knows he's going to protect. Come on, man. I'm going to lose to a Buffett. I'm losing to a Buffett. He doesn't. Yo, give me the crit. Give me the crit. We don't get the crit. Come on, man. What you mean? We don't get the crit. Get out of my face. 0 for 2 on crits. Yeah, I just feel like RNG was eating. He gets a crit. What is this? What is this? Yo, I feel like RNG is just, just slapping me right now. But yeah, 1 and 2 for today's video. Phenomenal battles all around. In all honesty, I thought I played phenomenal all day today. Battle number one, battle number two, and battle number three were all absolute bangers of some battles. Battles came down to the wire. We won our first one, we lost our second, and we lost our third. But I definitely think we should have won our second and third battle. I just can't believe it. I can't believe it. But yo, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button. I'm telling you, yo, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.